with the straps prepared, let's stick on the wireless motion trackers. To power on the motion trackers, press the button and wait for the light to start blinking. In this training video, we place the motion trackers on top of the straps to demonstrate the correct position. However, you should always place them underneath the straps to get the best results. Insert the motion tracker into the headband and place it on the head. Place the sternum motion tracker and make sure you cover it with the fabric. Place the motion tracker on the flat surface of the upper arm. The lower arm motion tracker needs to be placed on top just above the wrist. Place the hand motion tracker in the glove and put it on. Repeat the same process for the opposite arm. Both shoulder motion trackers can be placed. The pelvis tracker needs to be placed on top of the sacrum. The upper leg motion tracker needs to be placed on the flat surface well above the knee. The lower leg motion tracker needs to be placed on top of the flat surface of the shin bone. Unlace the shoe and place the shoe pad with motion tracker deep under the shoe tongue. Make sure the laces prevent the motion tracker from shifting within the shoe. Repeat the same process for the opposite leg. Next step is to connect the Awinda station to the computer. For this we need the Awinda station and the USB cable. Connect the USB cable to the Awinda station. The power adapter is only needed for charging the motion trackers. Connect the end of the USB cable to the computer with Ambient Studio installed. 